Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another garden video. So we have done a few kind of fall cleanup videos, not officially, but just as I'm going through and planting things like the pansies and the kales and cabbages, I've taken out obviously the annuals that were in those spots. But seeing as it is almost the second week in December and it is still 80 degrees outside, I have a feeling we are going to have a not so cold winter or if we are going to have a cold winter it's all going to come at once later i don't know it's been an unusually warm fall and winter so far and fall is almost over it's december does that mean it's officially winter i don't know i've been wearing flip-flops and capris so let y'all decide Either way, most of my annuals that are true annuals, not like my super tunia bubblegums, but things like my vincas and my annual pintas have officially petered out whether the weather is warm or not. So I am going to go through and pull the things that need pulled, cut back the things that need cut back. Um, we may leave some things for spring clean up, but anything that is grossly dead, I'm going to go ahead and just cut back. That way, the things like the pansies and the kales that are looking fabulous can shine without all of the dead behind them. So this is going to be a strictly maintenance video. We are doing nothing groundbreaking. We're doing nothing super fun. So if you want to hang out, see what we take out, see what we do. Come on and hang out with me. That's all we're doing. I'm going to start right here with the pintas around this tree. These are annual pintas, so I was not sure if they would come back or not. I literally bought three for this tree and three for around the tree down there, the crepe myrtles. And uh, they said, same pintas, same names, but one of, the, one of the buckets said they were annuals and one said they were perennials. I think it depends on your zone. So we're in 8B um, and they said they come back starting in zones nine we are so close to Florida here, like literally 30 minutes from Florida, and they often will come back in Florida. So while the tops are dead, all the bottom of the pentas still have green growth and like you still have flowers. So I'm not going to pull them. I'm just going to cut them back and then we'll see if they come back next year. The only things I know I am for sure pulling instead of cutting is... The vinca, the vinca never comes back, but it does kind of self seed. So whether I pull it or not, there will be more vinca next year. So we're gonna get rid of this, everything else, the pintas, the angelonia, the mums, um, everything that's done, we're just gonna cut back. Let's do it. All right, so down here, I just had to take out the watermelon vine that was done. And then you can see we cut back everything that was dead or dying. If anything was still, like these salvia and the coneflowers still looking okay, we left it. And uh, we'll probably just leave the rest till spring and then come in and give everything a rejuvenation prune then. But anything that was dead, dead, like these angelonia, they are technically annuals but in my zone they come back it's nice living in the heat sometimes so you can see on the plant here anywhere there were buds we just cut right above those buds ones down here not quite as many buds but again we just cut right above those green buds and if you know i have a lot of lambs here and ferns and things that stay green all throughout my season 
So I, I also mulched with leaves this year. So I'm not too worried about cutting things back to the ground. There's still plenty of leaf litter and other plants for small things to winter over if they need to. I have pansies and kales and and there's plenty still in the garden even though it's not fall. So like the Veronica here, we went ahead and cut back all the salvia here. These are annuals, but you can see like at the base there was new fresh green growth. So we just, we cut everything back that still had green, but was dying. Wisteria has died back, but look how much growth that has from last season. And then we will come back next spring and anything that doesn't quite make it, we will cut back to the ground. But for now, the foxgloves and um, pintas that should be dead, we just cut back. We'll see what happens. And unlike the cute YouTube girls, I am always a hot sweaty mess when I'm done working outside. Even in December, 80 degrees y'all, it's 80 degrees today. So I'm going to go take a shower and I will see y'all for the December garden tour next week. Bye.